ESCOM has begun doing audits in areas where illegal connections are prevalent. The power utility has also warned load reduction is a reality that will be with South Africans for some time, targeting densely populated areas where there's a high number of illegal connections that are putting more strain on the national grid. Gauteng, Mpumalanga and KwaZulu-Natal have been identified as priority provinces. Meanwhile, the nurse says it will appeal the High Court ruling that would allow ESCOM to claw back six. Gambian President Adama Barrow has declared a state of emergency and introduced nationwide night curfew for 21 days as coronavirus cases keep rising. The president said the borders and airspace will remain closed except for cargo, diplomats and those seeking treatment abroad. He said the rising cases were worrisome. The country has recorded nearly 700 cases, including 16 deaths. Luxembourg warned Israel that if it fulfills its plan to annex parts of the West Bank, other EU countries would recognize Palestine as an independent state. Jean Asselbaum, Luxembourg's foreign minister, says nine out of 27 EU countries have recognized Palestine as a separate state. He urged the EU to take a unified stance on Israel's West Bank annexation plan, stressing that diplomatic pressure is needed to block the plan. Bells told in Hiroshima today the 75th anniversary of the world's first atomic bombing with ceremonies downsized due to the coronavirus. Survivors and their families attended the memorial ceremony at Peace Park where they stood to observe a moment of silence at the exact time the bomb exploded, killing 140,000. The Hiroshima bombing was followed by the bombing of Nagasaki on August 9th, instantly killing more than 75,000 people. Japan surrendered six days later, ending World War II. And now for this morning's financials.